Made three, put on his pay three, never listened to it. He never paid no mind to it. Then Zach being in the car with Zach, Zach rolled around and kept on playing it. That's what Zach told me. Mm. And three sit there and saying, damn, who the fuck is that? And he'll buy the bees. Boss talk one on one. But I'm gonna bring this up. I, I hate to bring stuff up we already talked about, but Look. I gotta bring this up because Lil Zach was on here. Right. And Lil Zach, when he was on here, I remember you mentioned Lil Zach. And I was like, damn. Makes sense to me. Lil Zach said that he had something to do. I I, I heard OG Bobby Billion say yeah. that he, you know, basically, uh, I heard a lot of people, not just uh, that they, the Say Cheese thing happened, and that's where he seen him at. But from according to Lil Zach, Lil Zach say he played the open end parts of that song before Mo3 even got on it. Put one of the, I put together one of the biggest songs Mo3 ever had. Which, which one? Outside. Wow, you put together, you, you put it yeah. together. And when you say put it together, explain. Shit, they didn't know each other. You, but I now see this. This where it go foggy for me, cause when <laughs> when I dealt with uh, I both, I, when I dealt with uh, uh, cause there's so many different Bobby Billions. It was like, what, 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 what I, he told me was so. So Bobby Billions, he pretty much told me that it insinuated the fact that it was because of the say cheese post that. Uh, o, uh, Mo three looked him up. So are you saying you uh, you put them together as far as physically coming together? Because they didn't ever meet, right? They never met. So how did you how did you play part in it? Uh, so the say cheese link that like so Bobby, I don't know how he got on say cheese, but that's just like anything else. Niggas be on say cheese all all the time. But it's one thing if I see a nigga on say cheese and then six months later you be like, hey, man, when you came to Boss Talk and I was showing you such and such, it was one of them situations. So. Shit, Bobby, I had I had in between that time I heard the song. When I heard the song, I was like, hell yeah. So I'm I'm giving Bobby the rundown, like, hey bro, shit, just send me an open verse. I'm already know him, I'm already knowing my move, you know what I'm saying? So I tell him to send me the open verse in in between in between time, shit, me, Rain had a so damn book that we on the road from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So when I do that, I mean shit, when we when we on the road, shit, a nigga just playing a song and over time. It was just a situation to where like three like damn shit you might as well just I like this motherfucker now shit what a, like you who, played it that much hell yeah hell yeah you knew it was a dope song Man, I still got the receipts on that shit wow and and, and and you can go back and and, and listen to into buddy interview like he's saying it you know what I'm saying like if you all his first interviews he was saying it you know what I'm saying so I mean it ain't a secret he did Bobby B you paid Mo three. To put it on his page. Bobby Billion called me and No, I'm talking about Zach. No, listen, Zach. this is what had happened. Bobby Billion paid for Mo3 to put it on his page. Right? So that's in May. So then May 3 put it on his page, 3 never listened to it. He never paid no mind to it. Then Zach being in the car with Zach, Zach rolled around and kept on playing it. That's what Zach told me. And 3 mm -hmm. sit there and said, damn, who the fuck is that? And it was Bobby B. Not realize he already had posted. Yeah, already posted. <laughs> And then Bobby Bobby was talking cool in cool hoops with Zach, trying to go on the road, trying to be cool. You know what I'm saying? Trying to go everywhere we go. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got the messages. Bobby from Mo3. Mo3 Mo was in Miami. Big bro, where you at? I'm going to pull up on you. Then 3 told me, too. Like, the day Broken Love came out when 3 just did it in the kitchen, the outside in the kitchen, he said, yeah, Bobby trying to pull up on us. I said, for real? Said, yeah, yeah, he trying to pull up on us. But, you know, he not. 3 was. Yeah, mm -hmm. three was a fan. He used to like Bobby music, mm -hmm. and you know, you know what I'm saying. I, I mean, I feel bad for him. They did it all wrong. Anybody I take to Empire or anybody I take to the deal, I already know the structure of everything. Mm -hmm. So you just got to follow my lead. Yeah, he had an album come out nobody heard of. You're right, um, but but he started to scale because of outside, right? He was. He scaled because of outside. He scaled because outside, but that that was just a stepping stone. You know what I'm saying? I look for blessings in everybody's life. In life, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, uh, with me not getting no dollar out of it, but I'm trying to get Dallas to, to the point where I'm trying to get Dallas to the point where we in New York or Atlanta, and they just don't look at it like, okay, they just you know what I'm saying? They're such and such. Like right now, it kind of make me mad, and it kind of made me more hungry because I've been around the world lately, and every time I walk in the club, they play outside. I'm tired of this shit. So now, I, now I'm pushing for a whole new song from Mo3. Keep a 30 on me, nigga, don't get out the way.